Now let us talk about iterators and we have majorly four iterators which are mostly used and those iterators are begin, end, r begin and r end. Right? So let's first talk about begin. So this begin returns as the iterator which is pointing to the first element of the vector. For example, if we just do v dot begin, it will return an iterator pointing to the first element of the vector, right? And end refers to an imaginary number or imaginary position which follows the last element. So we assume that there is an imaginary number uh, after the last element of the vector and that is referred by this end operator. So if you just use v dot end then it will be referring to this imaginary number or element right so let's take an example and try to understand uh, this concept a uh, bit more so okay so this v dot begin will return us a iterator pointing to the first element right so let's try to store this in a variable so let's say we want to store this in a variable called it right now this it is a variable so it must also have a data type right and it should have a data type which can store an iterator for a vector right so for that the syntax will be vector and the data type because the data type of this vector is int so we will also use int here and then we will write iterator right so this is the data type for this variable so that it can store the iterator which will be returned by this v dot begin right now this it will be pointing to the first element of the vector right and if we just uh, want to access this value then we can do that using star of it see it is a iterator so it will be pointing to this element and if we want to access the value then for that we'll have to use star it right and uh, if we just do it plus plus in that case this iterator will move on to the second element and it will start pointing to this two right so if you just do it plus plus it will start pointing to two so if you just try to print this then it will uh, print three and if we just move this pointer to the next element and then try to print star it then it will print 2 right and similarly if we just uh, increase the pointer or move this iterator once more then it will start pointing to 4 and now if we just increase or move this pointer then it will start pointing to this imaginary number which is v dot end so if you just do it plus plus now this it is pointing to v dot end right so to traverse a vector we can either use a for loop and in that we can start from 0th index and go till the last index and we can access all the elements using v of i and the other way is to use these iterators to traverse so let's see how we can use this so let's say we have this for loop right and let's say i've written this whole thing here and this it is equals to v dot begin right so this it will be pointing to the first element right and we will keep on increasing this it until this it starts pointing to the this imaginary number which is basically v dot end so we can say until this it is not equals to v dot end we can keep on increasing i it right cool now in this it is referring to one of the elements of the array so to access that uh, value of that element we can use the uh, use star of it and if we just let's say we want to print that values then we can use c out right and it will print and traverse the entire vector and this was about begin and end so now let's talk about r begin and r end so if we just use v dot r begin then it will return a iterator pointing to the last element of the vector right and here when we were incrementing the pointer we were moving in the right direction but if we have used r begin then the iterator will move in the left direction for example let's say this it is equals to this thing it will be pointing to the last element which is 4 now if we do it plus plus in that case it will move in the left direction and it will keep on moving in the left direction and r begin will be pointing to a, a theoretical element which will be present before the first element it is just the reverse of begin and end right r begin and r uh, end is just reverse of begin and end right so using begin and end we were able to iterate uh, the entire vector in the forward direction or we can say in the right direction right now let's say if we want to iterate the same vector in the reverse order then in that case we can use r begin so this uh, element will start pointing to the last element and we can keep on incrementing this pointer until we reach r end right so just by changing this thing we will be able to iterate the entire vector in the 
reverse order right so this was about uh, i treat us 